the early years of the PBA saw the rise of two powerhouse teams whose rivalry sparked the popularity of the league. Crisp and Toyota were the original super teams, winning a combined 22 championships from 1975 to 1984, the last year of the Redmanizers in the Pro League. Both teams had some of the best players in the league who also collared the top individual accolades handed out at the end of every season. After the disbandment of Toyota and Crispa, there have been a number of franchises which reigned for certain stretches of the PBA due to lineups that can be deemed as super teams in their own rights. Let us take a look at some of them. Great Taste, 1984-85. Great Taste practically ended Crispa's dominance after the Redmanizers won four straight titles beginning with its Grand Slam in 1983 until the first conference of 1984. After that, the PBA became the playground of the coffee makers. Great Taste started to emerge as a legitimate contender in 1983 when it finished second in the reinforced conference with import Norman Black against the Billy Ray Bates-powered Crisper Redmanizers in a close finals battle, 2-3. Bates and Crisper repeated over Black and the coffee makers in the third conference finals, 3-0. Things started to finally to fall into place for great taste in 1984. The coffee makers were powered by a pair of gunners who are regarded as two of the best scorers in league history, Ricardo Brown and Bog Zaternato. The coffee makers, however, were not only reliant on their two MVPs as they also had outstanding players like Arnie Tootles, Manny Victorino, Joy Carpio, Cheeto Lazaga, Jimmy Manansala, and Joel Banal. The team was mentored by the maestro Baby Dalupan who took over the coaching mantle from Jimmy Mariano in the latter part of the 1983 season. In the 1984 All-Filipino, Great Taste swept a beer Hassan squad led by Ramon Fernandez who was having arguably the best season of any local in league history, 27 points, 11 rebounds, 9. 9 assists per game. In the third conference, Great Taste, led by best import Jeff Collins, came out on top of the finals, 3-2, against Crispa. Brown ended up averaging over 30 points in the championship series. Adernato moved to Shell in 1985 while Tootles joined Ginebra, but this did not derail great taste as it acquired Abe King and Willie Pearson. The Coffee Masters won the Open Conference with import Joe Binion against Norman Black and Magnolia. In the All-Filipino Conference, the Coffee Makers defeated Adornado and the Shell Azadron in the finals, 3-1. Brown was named MVP of the 1985 season. He was joined by Victorino and Pearson in the mythical first team, while King made the mythical second team and the all-defensive team. The next time Great Taste would win another title would be in 1987, but for that four-conference stretch from 1984 to 1985, the coffee makers were the masters of the PBA. San Miguel, 1987-89. In seven conferences beginning the third conference of 1987 until the end of the 1989 season, San Miguel won six championships, including the Grand Slam in 1989. Coached by Norman Black, San Miguel was made up of a core coming from the Northern Consolidated Cement who joined the PBA on Moss in the last conference of 1986. Abet Gidibin and Ricky Cui joined the team in 1987 after the disbandment of Manila Beer and combined forces with Sam Boy Lim, Hector Calma, Yves Dignitas, Alvin Tang, Elmer Reyes, and Franz Pumerant to net San Miguel back-to-back -back titles, the 1987 reinforced conference with import Bobby Parks, and the 1988 Open Conference with Black as their playing coach. Gidibin won his second MVP award in 1987 as a Beerman.com 1988, the Beerman made two key acquisitions, Ricky Brown from Great Taste and Ramon Fernandez in a blockbuster trade with Pure Foods for Gidibin prior to the season-ending reinforced conference which the Beerman won, 4-1, versus Shell Rimula. The squad was led by Imports Parks and Eric Rowland. San Miguel's imports were Black and Michael Phelps. Fernandez was named MVP in 1988, while Brown and Calma made the mythical first team. Alvin Tang was named the most improved player. San Miguel bolstered its lineup further in 1989 with the addition of Ado Agustin and Bobby Jose. The Beermen cemented their status as a powerhouse when they joined Crisp as the only teams to win the Grand Slam. San Miguel bagged the Open Conference with returning import Phelps against Parks, rookie MVP Benji Parras, and Ronnie Magsanok of Shell. They finally won the franchise's first All-Filipino crown against a strong pure foods squad which was bannered by Alvin Patrimonio, Jerry Codinera, Al Solis, Jojo Lastimosa, Naning Valenciano, Glenn Capacio, Dindo Pumran, 
Nelson Asitono, and Jack Tanyuan. In the reinforced conference, the Beermen face Ginebra and its prolific import Carlos Briggs. Briggs averaged close to 70 points a game in the finals, but his one-man show was not enough to counter the balanced attack of the Beermen who clinched the title, four games to one. Alaska Milk, 1995-1998. Alaska was the ultimate team of the 90s. Consider these. From 1991-1998, the Milkmen won nine titles, including four straight from the 1995 Third Conference to their historic Grand Slam in 1996. They made the finals in eight straight conferences from 1994 to 1996. The Alaska dynasty was built slowly beginning with a foundation that was set in 1991 when they traded Elmer Kabahug to Pure Foods for Jojo Lastimosa. In 1993, they drafted Johnny Abariantos, then shipped Bong Alvarez by midseason to Sta. Lucia for Bong Hawkins. In 1994, the Milkmen drafted center Pot Juinho. The final piece of the puzzle was when it selected eventual Rookie of the Year Jeffrey Carriasso in the 1995 draft. The year 1996 was Alaska's best season. Against a loaded Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs Alaska pulled off a 4-1 title conquest in the All-Filipino. Resident import Sean Chambers bannered the team in the Commissioner's Cup despite being undersized at 6-1 in a conference which had a 6-7 height limit for imports. Alaska went toe-to-toe -to -toe against Shell Zoom Masters which was led by Kenny Redfield, Paras, Vic Pablo, and Magsanok in the finals which reached Game 7 with Alaska prevailing. The Milkmen capped off their season with a 4-1 triumph over Ginebra in the Governor's Cup. Abariantos was named 1996 PBA MVP. He along with Lastimoso and Hawkins made the mythical first team, while Carriasso made the mythical second team. Juinho was awarded Most Improved Player. Abariantos and Carriasso made the all-defensive team. The PBA Press Corps bestowed Cone with the Coach of the Year award and June Reyes was recognized as Mr. Quality Minutes. Alaska would win only one title in 1997 as Carriasso moved to Mobiline, but they bounced back with two more titles in 1998 after acquiring Kenneth Durham's from Pop Cola. They could have won another Grand Slam that year had Abariantos, Lastimosa, and Durham's along with Coach Co not miss part of the season due to their commitment to the National Centennial team which played in the 1998 Asian Games. Durham's bagged the MVP award and made the mythical first team with Abariantos and Lastimosa.